How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be looking at the D major scale. So welcome to the D the D major scale uh, tutorial. Yay! Okay, now we're also going to be looking at the D major chord, uh, but we're just going to throw that in at the end. Now this video was a request from someone uh, about the D major scale, and ultimately at the end of the day, when, I, when you guys watch these videos, I want you to realize that the major scale, the minor scale, and all the other like crazier scales like Mixolydian and all that stuff, they're just formulas. They're formulas that tell you the distance between uh, the notes within the scale. So with the major scale, we have seven notes, and then the eighth note is going to be the octave. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So pardon my writing. I don't have the best writing. Okay, so as I said, the major scale, or any scale, is a formula that tells you the distance between the notes within that scale. And so the major scale has its own formula, and I'm going to write it out as follows. Between the first and the second note, we have a whole step. Between the second and third note, we have a whole step. Between the third and fourth note, we have a half step. Between the fourth and fifth note, we have a whole step. Between the fifth and sixth note, we have a whole step. Between the sixth and the seventh note, we have a whole step. And between the seventh and eighth note, we have a half step. Okay, so if we're in D major, we can figure out the D major scale. Okay, so obviously the first note we're going to start out on D. Okay, and here's D right here. That's pretty. And then we're going to go a whole step up from D. So we're going to go from D to D sharp to E. Okay, so a whole step up from D is E. So the second note is E. Now again, we're going to go from E, which is the second note, and we're going to go a whole step up to get to the third note. And so if we go a whole step up, we're going to go from E to F, that's a half step, and then from F to F sharp, okay? So F sharp is going to be the third note. Wow, that looks really bad. Uh, F sharp. That's really hard. Okay, so F sharp, sharp is the third note in the scale. And then from the third note, F sharp, we're going to go a half step up to the fourth note, okay? So from F sharp, we're going to be going to G, okay? So here's G, and then from the fourth note to the fifth note, we're going a whole step. So if we're going, we're going from G to G sharp, was a which is a half step, and then another half step to A. Okay, and so that is the fifth note of uh, D major is A. And then we're going to go from the fifth note to the sixth note, and the distance between those two is a whole step. So A to B, to, I'm sorry, to A sharp to B. Okay, so the sixth note in the D major scale is a B. Then we'll go from B and a whole step up. So that's going to be B to C to C sharp. Okay. So here's C sharp. That's the seventh note or the major seventh note. And then finally, to get back to the tonic, to get back to the uh, the D, the, the octave here, uh, we just go a half step up from the seventh note. So from C sharp, we just go back to D. All right. And so those are all the notes in the D major scale. We have D. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and then D. And I hope you see how we got there. All we did is we looked at the major scale formula, which is right here, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And we were able to figure out or deduce the D major scale from that formula. All right, so one last thing here. Let's go ahead and just look at the D major chord or D major triad, all right? Now the triad, uh, whether it's major or minor, is going to be made up of one three five, and one three five are just references to the note numbers in the scale. So we're just going to come over here and circle it. So here we have one, which is D. We have three, which is F sharp, and we have five, which is A. So D major equals D, F sharp, and A. All right. So here we have D, F sharp, and A. All right, and so that's going to cover this video. I hope that introduces you both to the um, concept of understanding what a, a scale really is in the abstract, and it's just a formula that tells you the distance between notes. Here we've looked at uh, one instance of the major scale, which is the D major scale, and we see that the D major scale is D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. And then from that, we also kind of uh, went a little bit further and looked at what a D major chord is or D major triad. And that consists of the first, the third, and the fifth note of the D major scale. 
And so D major, the chord, is when you play the notes D, F sharp, and A simultaneously. When you play D, F sharp, and A at the same time, you're going to produce a D major chord.